don't know if you guys can see these bugs or not, but it is actually insane. Holy crap. Chief's here, and in today's video, we are gonna be going after some Skamania steelhead. Skamania steelhead are a summer on a steelhead here in Michigan. Pretty much at least a couple in every creek or river on the west side of Michigan here. So we're gonna be throwing some spawn bags, we're gonna be throwing some spinners, gonna be throwing basically the whole the whole nine yards. And I don't know if you guys can see all these bugs, but it is ridiculous right now. I gotta wear this lunch lady freaking net over my head. It's a uh, it's for trout fishermen. I gotta wear these gloves. I absolutely just wrecked my hands the other day coming out here because of bug bites. So gotta wear the freaking lunch lady net and uh, the gloves today. And I got no shame. Really doesn't even feel like my bug spray is doing a single thing, right? I think I see a big brown trout. Oh, I just got bit. That was a scam first cast. Oh my God. It broke me off. Oh my God. Dude, what? So I'm going to 10 pounds. That was a scam. I haven't been able to get these fish to bite at all. Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. It's got a lamp right on it. I don't have a nut, so we're gonna have to beach it. Nice buck. Dime bright freaking. All right. Two for two. So got freaking popped. Got popped on the, uh, what was it? Literally, first drift. I got hammered. Next drift, this guy freaking follows it right up. Probably. This is your average size steelhead right here. Nice seven, six, seven pound. Usually I'm big on catch and release, but you gotta kill them every time. Don't waste these fish. I, I learned my lesson. There's pretty much no, no debating it at this point for me. Come here, get your limit, get out. This fish might need to reset for a second. The amount of bugs on me right now is just not even okay. This is actually insane. All right, we're gonna pack up and move to a different spot. It seems like whenever we hooked those two fish, it spooked them out. Some sun showed up and it kind of started putting light in the hole. So those fish definitely moved. So we're gonna, we're gonna track down the creek a little bit more, see if we can't find a deep hole with some shade in it. And uh, we might have to start getting a little bit more finesse right now because that morning bite window is kind of slipping right now. So hopefully we can get like one or two more on the bank. I'm gonna leave this guy chilling here for the meanwhile. I don't think anybody's gonna be pulling up on him. So 
I bought him out. He's dead. He's not going anywhere. So let's go try to get like one or two more. See what we can do. Nice freaking scam right there. Let's go, dude. Two fish. Just landed our second steelhead here. She's got some freaking battle wounds on her, it looks like, but um, nice like five, six pounder. A little bit smaller than the last one we caught. This one's a female. The bugs are still just absolutely horrendous right now. I, I don't know if you guys see them. On the, on the camera lens or not, but today's been a great day so far. First one hit on bags, second one hit on wax worms, and uh, we're one off our limit right now. So if we can keep this up, that would be freaking sweet, but so far it's been a great day. Let's get another one. All right, so really quick, I wanna show you guys the rig I was running for this video. For our rod and reel, we have a 11.6 Mags Custom Rain Shadow. So I think it's an RX-8. And we have the John Milner Kingfisher 5-inch center pin reel. You probably don't need a reel this big for a creek this small, but run 23-pound main line right here, blood run. And uh, as far as our float setup goes, we have a 6.2-gram swamp float from blood run paired up with a size 5 water gremlin split shot. We got the micro swivel right there. Run an 8-pound test. I've got two AAA size blood run BB shot. And then we also have like a 0.4 gram BB shot. Pretty simple rig, just throwing on some spawn bags. I've got some really old crappy spawn. It really just depends if these fish want to bite. Sometimes they'll hit spawn. I hit a couple on wax worms. I've hit them on just about everything you can put under a bobber. So in this video is mostly bait though, but pretty much what you'd use as far as like regular fall or spring steelhead fishing. But we just downsized, added a little bit lighter line, a lighter float, and a little less split shot and it did the trick. So. Yeah, if you guys found this video helpful or you enjoy it at all, leave a thumbs up, subscribe. Be sure to hit that bell notification, it means a lot. I don't really know the next time I'll upload. I've been trying my best to be on like some sort of upload schedule, but um, it's completely at random at this point, if you guys can, can't already tell. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ooh.